Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a slim paracord wallet. So this is a great option for those of you guys that like to carry small amounts of things in your pockets, as well as, you know, just a few cards, maybe a bit of cash, only mo the most important cards, of course. So uh, yeah, this is my first attempt at doing a slim paracord wallet or paracord wallet for that matter. It's not perfect, but it is uh, serviceable. It works, does its job, and I hope you guys will like this tutorial. So that being said, let's get into it. And for this project, you'll need two lengths of paracord measurements right there in the video, as well as, as a small piece of cardboard or card, um, anything kind of a, any sort of stiff card will do. And you can see the measurements of the wallet there as well. And I'm also using a thin bamboo skewer. So to get started, we're gonna to have to gut our paracord. That means we're gonna to have to remove the inner uh, threads of that paracord, so clip off or uh, cut off both ends of your paracord and proceed to yank out all those inner guts and get them out because we don't need them at all. And of course do this for both sets of paracord. Now um, you can melt both ends on one strand and on the second strand um, you can just melt one end and leave one end open. So yeah get all those guts out and um, if you're using the bamboo skewer method you can leave one end open but in my video, I'm gonna be using a um, extended fid. So for the next step, we're going to be ironing or flattening our paracord. For this step, you can use a hair straightener like I am, or you can use just a regular old iron, just put it on top of your ironing board and you know run it under your iron. Now don't set your iron or uh, hair straightener too high uh, because it could potentially melt the paracord if it's too high, and you definitely don't wanna do that because then you'll have a very mad uh, you know wife girlfriend sister or owner of your hair straightener so uh, don't do that um, be careful with it you may have to run it over a couple times but just um, you know go a bit low and slow don't uh, burn the paracord and do it enough times to the point where the paracord is nice and flat this is really gonna help out um, when you go to weave the uh, paracord Next, I'm going to use a small piece of tape to attach the flattened paracord to my uh, piece of cardboard. Um, later on, I found a clip to uh, clip it on, so definitely use a clip if you can. Tape works kind of okay. So once that paracord is attached, all we're going to do is start winding that paracord and lay it flat against your cardboard. And you're just going to kind of do this kind of spiral around your cardboard go from one end all the way to the other definitely keep the strands flat and try to keep them as close to each other as possible without kind of slipping off the cardboard and just continue that all the way down the length of your piece of cardboard Now when you get to the end, um, again, I'm using a small piece of tape. Uh, if you have any excess paracord, just clip that off and you can snip it and melt it. Then just use another piece of tape and connect it to the other side um, or the other end. You just need something to hold it there while you uh, weave on the other strand. So it uh, doesn't have to be super strong, but just um, strong enough so that it stays there. Now, as I mentioned, if you're using the um, uh, bamboo skewer method, uh, you can follow what I'm doing on the screen here. And I'm just going to attach the bamboo skewer into one end of the gutted paracord, and then I'm gonna add a bit of super glue on. Now, uh, in this video, I end up using just an extended fid, uh, but a lot of you may not have that, so um, you can use this bamboo skewer method. It is a little bit more difficult because sometimes the um, the bamboo skewer can be a little rough and it gets caught on the paracord. If that happens, just sand it down a bit, maybe with some sandpaper or something rough. Um, but yeah, so I'm adding just a dab of glue here and um, just enough so that it makes it secure. Don't add too much because um, you don't want it to take forever to dry and then potentially get stuck to anything. Now we're gonna start weaving our color on and as you can see here, I found my clip. So I'm gonna add that instead of the tape 
Definitely much better than um, using tape. So now to start weaving, I'm using my extended fit here. Got the other color attached. You're gonna start on one end and you're just gonna do the classic over under pattern, okay? Well, I'm actually going under over, but just make sure you alternate going under and over through um, the paracord weaves. Just keep going up and down. Definitely make sure you don't skip or, you know, double up on any of them and get your fit all the way to the other side. The reason why you need the skewer or the extension is just to help you get that fit through because if it's too short, you know, it's going to be kind of stuck in the middle. But with that extended length, you can get it all the way through. Pull the flattened cord um, all the way out to the other side, like so. As you can see, I've got a lot of paracord to work with. Okay, so now that the paracord is mostly on one side, you're gonna take your fit, you can use the same fit or a different one, and you're gonna push it down all the way to the bottom because you want these um, strands nice and straight, see? So go through each of them and push it all the way down to the very bottom of your uh, weave there and make sure it's nice and neat. Try to get that cord as straight as possible. Now we flipped around to the other side, so the long end is on the bottom, as you can see here. Now we're gonna go back up the way we came and see how the bottom wraps over the card. You wanna go over the card. And then you're gonna go, um, I'm going over and under, like so. And I'm using a slightly different method here because the cord can tend to get a little tight uh, when you're doing the weave. So I'm just pulling up with the, uh, the cord with my fingers on my left hand and then I'm pushing the cord through as I go, doing uh, over and under. It's definitely a lot easier on the flat on the table like that, but just try out whichever method uh, works best for you. And um, yeah, just do whatever you're most comfortable with. Now again, you're gonna pull the cord all the way out to the other side and get um, all that to the side. Now, I uh, get a little problem here. It's twisted, and this is going to happen every now and then. And um, it, it can be a little frustrating. I got pretty frustrated doing this, but the easiest method would be to um, get the paracord all the way to one side. And as soon as you get all the paracord to one side, you're, you're going to notice the, the twist in your paracord. Now, I grab both ends of the paracord and just twist it forcefully um, to the direction that I want it to untwist. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. Can be a little difficult, but um, you know, it's just something that happens. You can try your best to keep the cord like laying the correct way when you're weaving it, but it, it does get a little difficult. So if it gets a little twisted, you may have to untwist it. So don't worry too much about that, but make sure it's laying nice and flat like you can see on, my, um, on mine here. And now that we've got the cord through, we're gonna do the same thing. Take a fid and push that cord down lay it nice and flat and straight see how the top end that uh the top corner of that paracord goes over the cardboard that's uh that's what you want because that end is going to be the closed end and now we're weaving towards the open end that's where you're going to slip in the uh, money in the cards now we've done two passes we're going to go back the way we came but notice we're going on the same side okay because that top part is the open part you have to leave that open if you go you know, over the cardboard on that side, it's going to, you know, make make this just a closed wallet. You won't be able to open it. So I'm going back the way I came, and again doing over and under. Just pay attention to um, which side you went over and under on, and just make sure it, um, you know, goes the opposite way. So you can see, um, again, I'm untwisting the cord here because it got twisted, and just again make sure it lays flat. You see at the very top there, it's laying flat. And I'm just going to take my fit again and push down that cord all the way. So now moving back to the other side. Now this side is where we go over the cardboard. See, so that's coming out from that side. And then now we go over the cardboard and then we go do again. We're going to do um, over under over under. So this may take a little practice, but you'll get it after the first, you know, one or two passes. It's not that difficult. So again, I'm using that same method to get the cord through. Pay attention, make sure you go um, over and under. 
and same process pull the cord all the way through and if it is twisted untwist it and get it to lay flat and then once it's flat again push it down with your fit Now you may notice the cardboard can get a little, you know, beat up in there. That's okay. It might bend a little. Um, that actually makes it a little easier to weave the um, the flattened cord onto. But um, you know, at the end, it's not too difficult once you get going. The hardest part, I would say, is the the paracord twisting. It can get a little, a little annoying, a little frustrating. But um, you know, just keep going, and um, you'll get it eventually. Now, really quickly here, um, this is a different method I used to get the paracord through. Um, see, I got more than halfway and the cords were getting really tight when I was trying to weave my uh, paracord over and under. So what I'm going to do is use a second fid and just kind of push up the cords that need to go up for going uh, under. And that's the method I used to get the cord through um, this side because it was a little tight and I was able to get the cord through that way. All right, again, I've got a twist, but I'll just untwist that and fix it. So one thing you might want to do when you get all the way to the end is just go start from the beginning and push your cords all the way down. I noticed um, things weren't you know, perfectly lined up going all the way up. So I took my fit again and I tucked all the cords down. After doing that, um, now we're going to remove the cardboard inside. Okay, because I've got maybe like one more pass to do and I figured just make it a little easier. I took the card out and I'm just again going to do the over under pattern. Just um, be very careful here to do the right um, pattern. And we're just going to go over and under um, through this pattern here. Having a little trouble sometimes near the end, but just make sure you're alternating properly and get that last cord through for that um, very last pass. So now I've got that one last cord through and to sort of finish it off, I'm just going to tuck it underneath one cord. This is on the uh, bottom side of the wallet, so the closed end. And I just went under through one just to kind of secure that last um, little cord, the little extra cord there. And the cord will get tangled from now and then, of course, but just uh, straighten it out and um, get it through. So that's where I want to end off with my cord on the left side there. That's the bottom of the wallet, the closed end. I just want that one cord coming up just to secure the last uh, red strand. And to finish it off up top for those two loose strands, um, we're going to add a dab of super glue. We're just going to glue them together. And of course, we're going to snip and melt those two top ends. Be careful not to get super glue anywhere else. And for these last two bottom strands, I'm going to clip off the blue and clip off the red. Just gonna give it a quick melt. Be careful not to melt any other part. And I'm, again, I'm just gonna add a super, just a dab of super glue there. It's probably not necessary, but I just want to take some insurance out, make sure it's not gonna come loose. And I'm gonna clip off that last little red strand and press it down. I'm gonna do the very same up top. I'm gonna clip off the excess red and green. This is the one area that I wasn't super happy about. Um, I have to figure out a different way to do that, but. I actually slipped in a few cards in there just to keep everything um, a bit more together. So that is it. I snipped and melted all the cord and this wallet's ready to go. You can fit a bit of cash in there, a few cards. For those of you who like minimalist, minimalist wallets, you might really enjoy this one. Guys, let me know what you think of this tutorial. Do you like this sort of paracord wallet idea? You want to see more, maybe something like a bifold wallet. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So remember, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out those affiliate links down below. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, uh, please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, a huge thank you to my uh, Patreon supporters. You can see their names scrolling across the screen right now. If you want exclusive access to uh, exclusive tutorials and giveaways, feel free to check out my uh, Patreon page. Link is in the video as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.